The last time someone wrote, directed, and starred in a passion project period piece, I had to sit through the frankly baffling Live By Night, but every film is its own unique experience which deserves to be seen and judged on its own merits, or lack of them. Even if this film has been in development hell since 1998, which normally rings enough alarm bells that the fire brigade turn up. Which is a shame, as this film ticks a lot of my boxes. A good old-fashioned film noir with a cracking jazz soundtrack, solid cast, a nice life of period detail, and with an interesting and unique protagonist, there's a lot here that you could like. Assuming that you can get past the absolutely punishing runtime of near two and a half hours. No film noir needs a runtime that long. Hell, very few films that don't have their eyes on an Oscar need to be that far north of two hours, and even then it's rare that those films need every single scene that they have. I mean... Like I say, I wouldn't be surprised if Edward Norton's protagonist, a private eye with Tourette, which forced him to twitch and speak gibberish, which is never played for laughs or inspirited, may well earn him a possible Oscar nomination. Aside from that, though, it's your bog-standard film noir. Now, I gather that the book is set in the 90s, but Norton felt that it better suited the 50s, which it does, but every film noir is set in the, that era. Setting it in a more modern era would have helped it to stand out, as it's, it's just sort of generic. I mean, the themes are universal, the characters are universal, which is a polite way of saying archetypes, and it's just so long. This film is longer than Chinatown. Forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown. And this film is no Chinatown. Look, I like the people on the screen, but there are only so many coincidences and plot holes I'm willing to overlook for a cracking soundtrack. Motherless Brooklyn is a rarity in modern cinema. It's a glossy, star-studded throwback to old-school films with no franchise dreams or hopes. It's got heart and humour, but it never quite reaches the heights to which it should. You need to cut 45 minutes, at least, from the runtime. Return the story to the 90s to make your film stand out from the crowd, because, aside from Norton's character's Tourette's, there's nothing here distinctive or memorable. Look, if you want a great modern film noir, then check out The Nice Guys, which has snappy dialogue, great music, interesting characters, and was less than two hours. As for Motherless, it tries, but it's too remote. It's setting hindering as well as helping it. There's nothing for it to stand out, nothing for it to stand on, no moment to remember. It's on for too long. I was impressed by it, but I'm gonna forget it in about an hour, which is a shame as who doesn't love a good film noir every once in a while? So I think that you should see it. But what do you guys think? And what's your favourite detective story? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.